What's up guys? Today, well, let me sit down first. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, what's up guys? Today I am back with you with another video and today I'm gonna walk you through how I convert my photos to black and white. So before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss one of my videos. Man, my arm is on fire! So I've been taking my own advice and that advice was that we utilize this time to go through our digital asset management system and check out photographs that maybe we hadn't noticed before. So that's what I did. And there's some photos in there that I was like, mm, this will make a heck of a black and white photo. So I am converting today with you to black and white. I think I'm gonna do this one. So there's a lot of distraction in here, which is why I would wanna turn this to black and white. So one of the first things that a lot of photographers do is they will either come to the basic tab and select black and white or come to the hue saturation luminance color black and white, and select black and white here. One of the first things I do whenever I'm editing my photos, and I think I learned this from one of my grad school professors, Katrine Eisman, is that I come to the enable profile corrections. Enable Canon thinks I shot in 50 millimeter, which actually that looks kind of sweet. Hmm. Huh. If I do a re-edit of this, I might do something with that. That's kind of cool. All right. I don't think I shot this with a 24 to 70. I think it was a 70. It might have been a 300 millimeter, but it was probably this. Okay. I'm going to crop it from here. Okay, cool. I don't know that I really need all of this in there, but I do like the smoke, which is why I'm going to keep it. All right, so we've cropped it. Come back in, basic, black and white. All right, and let's just start with our basic adjustments. So, I'm gonna bring down the exposure some. Let me look at here. I'm gonna pop up this contrast a bit. All right, let's look here. Do I have a black point? No. Now I do. Do I have a white point? Now I do. Bring up the shadows, or bring down my highlights. Clarity looks good. Mm, it's nice. From there, we're going to adjust this color. So I'm going to pull down the blues a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, from there. Let's go and look at the effects. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna move the midpoint. So I'm pulling down the vignetting to the left to make it black. I'm gonna move the midpoint. Okay, feather it a bit. I really wish that these feet weren't here. That would be so much better. Look at that. 
That might be a fun cutout. Anyway, I digress. For this particular image, huh? You know what? I might use a gradual filter. I'm gonna come over here. Yeah. So you'll see that's just nuts. That's like to the extreme. So I'm gonna pull this out this way. And what I'm gonna do is open this up. So obviously we're not doing that. That's just to show you to the extreme. Maybe around like a two. And I'm gonna pop up the lights a little bit. Let's look at what that looks like. Mm. I think that's better. that change. I'm gonna leave that change there. I'll go back into this vignetting and look back over at this. What if I... I said there. Hmm. I'll pull that back to where it was. And... That might be it, I think. Yeah, from where this started. So there you have it. That is how I convert my photos to black and white. All right guys, thanks for walking through that process with me. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss one of my videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below things that you'd be interested in me doing other tutorials on. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wash your hands. We'll see you guys on the next one.